I first started making music as a hobby. And I was, used to be an actor, and I was in school for theater, and I was in school for like seven years for theater and have an MFA in acting. And I, I was pretty convinced that that was who I was, it was that I was gonna be an actor. And music was always like a hobby, this thing that I did um, when I was stressed out with theater. And every time you work on a play, it's like reading a novel and, and being a character in the novel at the same time. And I think music was always a way for me to write about some of those experiences. And I, and I especially for me, uh, I grieve a lot of um, friendships from the past. I've got a problem with kind of like holding on to the past and thinking about people from my past. And I miss people constantly. And the thing about music is on the, the first listen of a song that might have meant something to me a long time ago, an old romance, an old friendship, a vacation, a job that I had in, a, in another city where I might pine for those days. The first feeling is the song reminds me of that and it's this bittersweet thing or it makes me sad. And the second feeling is, but I have the song. and. I listen to the song and it and and I realize that it's always only ever been about the music. People are very very important, but people also come and go. And people also there's no guarantees that they're going to be in your life for the rest of your life. You can't hold on to those things. You can't really hold on to music either. That's obvious because it it's in the air and it's invisible and you can't even touch it. But you can play a CD again. You can play a record again. And it will never leave you. And so I want to I want to make those things.